Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. I got two very special people who have an awesome cause, okay. but they're also creating a weekend of a whole lot of fun. Tony Brothers and Monica Brothers, co-founders of Still Hope Foundation. How are you doing? Great. Good. Thank you. We were talking in pre-tape. Yes. That you guys sat on the sofa a, minute, a few years ago. A few years ago. And this whole kind of weekend concept was a twinkle in the eye. A twinkle in the eye. Yeah. Right? Was, yeah. Is that what you call it? A twinkle yeah, in that, the eye? Yeah. It was an idea. It was an idea. Tell me about Still Hope and the idea. The idea. Um, well, you know, we were given our time, talents, and treasures to a few other organizations in the community. And um, because of that, I had access to some let's call it backroom information. I could really see what was going on and what was missing, what was needed, where gaps need to be filled in. And so through that, you know, Tony and I started talking about those things and realized that we could perhaps fill in some of those gaps with our time, talents, and treasures going to some other efforts. Um, and because both of our mothers were single moms at one point, um, and we realized they had great support systems, and had they not had those support systems, then we could have turned out very differently. So we thought, okay, let's see if we can fill in gaps in those places, not to duplicate um, or replace any other agencies, just to fill in some gaps where there were some missing pieces. And um, we were, I think, smart enough to consult some friends and colleagues to see what they thought of our ideas and actually to see what we should and what we could do. And we had a focus group. And here we are about eight years later um, doing what we do for single moms in the community. That's so cool. Yeah. Uh, you got a great website that talks about the, the mission. So, And you started kind of at the dining room table? And Literally at the dining room. You still at the dining room table? No, no longer at the dining room table. Fortunately, in downtown Norfolk, right in the midst of everything that's going on. That's cool. And the, the work that you guys are doing is just tremendous. Thank you. Thank you. Now. Now. You do it because you have fun. I mean, the red carpets are all over town on uh, the weekend of September 10th through 13th. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Who would have thought, huh? Who would have thought? It started with like, one little party on a Saturday night, and now it's, what, five events in four days. Mm -hmm. So I said, yeah, are you going to be at the Half Moon? She said, yeah. So you going to be at Nordic? Said, yeah. Where else are you going to be? All over the place. All over yeah, the place. and we're at Half Moon on Friday night. Um, for our Hollywood Ball, we're going to have two bands, one inside and one outside on the deck of Half Moon. And we're going to have Elon Trotman, who's a world-renowned saxophone player from Barbados. He's going to come and he's going to play with each one of the bands at different times during the night. It's probably going to be more like a battle of the bands because one band's going to play and when they take their break, the other band's going to play and we're going to see who attracts the most people and everything. So that's Friday night. Friday during the day, we'll have we have our Military Appreciation Day because it's 9-11, mm -hmm. and we didn't want to have a big party that night right. and just totally ignore the significance of the day. So we'll have Military Appreciation Day, and it consists of a breakfast for wives of deployed servicemen and other um, women affiliated with the military, and we're giving some awards away there to women who own their own businesses that were in the military and uh, so that's our way of showing our respect for that day um, then saturday we move to chrysler hall and we have a comedy show there and it's headlined by lavelle crawford um so he's a really 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 funny big guy um, you're calling him a big guy he's a big guy so he must be a big he's guy. a big guy um, but we have i think it's six comedians now on the show that saturday night so and and there's only 32 tickets remaining for that concert. Wow. Uh, for that comedy show on uh, Saturday night. Then we have our celebrity golf tournament on uh, Sunday morning at Cahoon in Chesapeake. Now, are you organizing it or playing in it? Or I, both? I don't play in it. Um, I'm just making sure we've got 33 celebrities playing in the golf tournament. Wow. So each one of our foursomes has a celebrity playing in the group. So Moses Malone will be here and Calvin Murphy and Paul Silas and a lot of the old greats and then some younger players, Bimbo Coles and um, players from the you know, more of the modern era. They'll be here and they play with the uh, teams that we have. And that's, that's Sunday morning at Cahoon. And then Sunday night, we move back to Chrysler Hall. We have a R&B and jazz concert and Wow. We have, we're billing it as 25 Grammy nominations and three wins. And it consists of Greg Karukas, Rick Braun, Norman Brown, Gerald Albright, Jonathan Butler, Kurt Whalum, and Kenny Lattimore. 
You're pulling a lot of clout together mm -hmm. to put together one heck of a weekend mm -hmm. for one right. heck of a cause. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So my plea to the viewer is uh, if you're looking for something to do and you want to participate and you want to get active year round too, yes, connect definitely. up with uh, Still, Hope Still Hope Foundation. Foundation. Yes. Awesome stuff. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you and for having thanks us. for moving off the dining room table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no more space. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Thanks a thank, lot. Thank you. Hey, when we come back, we got a new author who's here just to talk to you about his inspiration. Stay tuned.